In this video, we're taking a first look at the brand new Evo drone by Autel, a super portable drone that shoots 4K video at 60 frames a second. Coming up. The following content is brought to you in part by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension platform for YouTubers looking for on-point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start gaining more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com. That's vidIQ.com. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES, looking for the best tools for creators so that we can ultimately tell our story better on social media and with online video. And drones are one of the best ways to do that and something that we at Think Media have been getting into a lot lately. And so we were pumped when we discovered this Evo drone from Autel. Now, this drone is not out yet. It's coming out sometime this year, and it's going to have a competitive price point at $999 here in the US or below. Price isn't set yet. And this drone has a lot of features, so let's check them out. So first up, when we check out this drone, we notice that it has a foldable compact style that's really very similar to the DJI Mavic. And it definitely feels kind of like a similar build quality, but definitely heavier a little bit. And it definitely feels very sturdy. Now on here, we do have our camera it's a fixed 2.8 aperture, and the field of view is 94 degrees. Now, one of the cool things about this camera is that it shoots 4K at 60 frames a second. And so it's great as you can have that crispy 4K footage, but also get 2X slow motion when shooting. Additionally, you've got forward, downward, and rear sensors for obstacle avoidance to prevent crashes. They also have it listed with multiple different intelligent flight modes, plus you have a flight range of seven kilometers, which is about 4.3 miles here in the US. And one of the standout features about this drone is the remote. And so uh, just like other drone remotes, you could mount your smartphone on here to monitor your uh, flight. But this uh, remote also has a built-in OLED screen. So you can see all the data on here, your, uh, you know, your range, your exposure, all of those things. But if you press and hold the back button, you can also use that screen as a flight monitor as well. So kind of a cool feature to give you some versatility for how you use it. Maybe your phone's dead, maybe you don't even have a phone you still want to be able to fly it, you can with just the remote and just the drone. And so this drone was announced here at CES 2018, and the specs on paper and being able to feel it all look really promising, but as anything, you actually got to get your hands on it to test it, and so I'm excited to do that. But being here and actually seeing them fly it around in the drone booth and so on and so forth, it definitely looks promising, but we'll have to wait and see until we can actually test one out here at Think Media. Now, as far as my final thoughts go, as we said, we have not tested it yet, but one kind of just bigger perspective for the Think Media community is I really want to encourage you this year to consider upgrading to some kind of drone. You know, when it comes to storytelling, being able to do the setting, being able to show where you are, being able to add creative elements with aerial photography and videography can really level up your game on social media and in your videos. And what I love is drones that are portable because the larger drones get, the easier it is to not take them with you when you travel, when you're on the road. And so a drone that has foldable arms like this that you can just throw in a bag is definitely something that I'm excited about, but I'd love to hear from you. Then the question of the day is what do you think about the Evo? Do you already have a drone? Have you tested out any drones? And are you excited to learn more about this? Definitely let me know in the comment section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And to see other videos in our series from CES, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.